So we've got a few more days before we go on holiday. We literally fly in like two days, three days. Yeah. Yeah, three days. Um, and I'm trying out the new camera. I'm trying out the Sony ZV-1 for vlogging. So this entire video is shot on the Sony ZV-1. Better? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, you go first. So just quickly while Tyler's in there getting his hair cut, I thought I'd explain why I've chosen the ZV-1 as my new sort of handheld vlogging camera. Originally I was using the Canon G7X Mark II and that's been my sort of run and gun camera for the longest time. But that is kind of an old camera now and there's definitely some limitations to using that above like say the Canon M6 Mark II which is my regular camera which I use most of the time. So if we fancy stopping, what are you doing? You don't think that's rude? That's rude Laura. He could be YouTube famous. I've just made my debut. Are you YouTube favourites? Not quite. One of the big problems with the G7X Mark II is that it doesn't actually shoot in 4K and when most of my video is shot in 4K that's kind of a big problem. That's one of the main reasons that I wanted to try out the ZV-1. It's a 4K camera, it shoots upwards of 100 megabytes per second and I feel like that is what my videos need. So let's give it a try. Tyler, I walked outside to like record like a little talking to head thing and a woman came up into my camera and was like are you YouTube famous? I'm like, no, no, definitely not. She, she jumped into the camera and she was like, hi guys, welcome back to my video. Newer, newer Arabic brand. I've got quite a few of those. Yeah. And, uh, newer Arabic brand. Do you like something new? Oh, we have time to actually look around. Shop. I know, that's what I was going to say. Do you also, go? do you actually, I love how it I looks. I think it looks good. So nice, though. I know. Stop. I want them. Get them. Get them. It's Forty quid, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Well, they're thinking they are nice. How much are they? Fifteen. Mm, that's not bad. <laughs> I really like those polo ones, though. <laughs> I managed to grab a few more things for the holiday. We've got a pair of swimming shorts and two pairs of swimming shorts and some socks. Right now we're heading across to the other side of Manchester. We're gonna go for some food. It's called Hot Pot 8, isn't it? Number 8 Hot Pot. Number 8 Hot Pot. So we're heading to Number 8 Hot Pot, which is a, it's a hot pot. I don't know what else to say about it. We've been to this place once before and the last time we went was Tyler's birthday. We tried it out and I think we went for the spicy hot pot, didn't we? It was, it was like medium and it was, it killed you. It literally killed you. It was really nice, but it was just way too spicy. Like so. me, me and my parents are, I love spice and it was just too much for any of us. One of the most important things when filming a video is good audio, clean audio. And with a point and shoot camera, oftentimes you lose that, that quality uh, because the camera's really small and because they don't put very good microphones into the cameras. That was definitely the case with the G7X Mark II. While it was a really good camera, the audio quality was just shocking and there was no mic port to actually attach your own external mic. With this camera, the Sony ZV-1, that is a little bit different. Um, you've actually got two options. You have a external mic port, which you can plug into the camera, um, and that's great for adding your own microphone, which is of a better quality, like the Deity or the Rode mic. Um, but it also has a proper three condenser mic on the top with a uh, detachable wind muff. So that's what I'm using right now, and hopefully the audio quality should be relatively good, um, at least for a point and shoot anyway. I mean, all that, we're, we're like, five, ten minutes away from it. We're literally just about to get onto Oxford Road. I'll go off the call, I'll talk to Jack and see what he wants to do. Salted peanuts and dry roasted peanuts. Salted. Alison and Martin, Tyler's parents, booked the meal for 7.30, or told us that they booked it for 7.30, um, but they just called us up and told us that it's not gonna be ready until eight o'clock. So we've got about 45 minutes to wait until then. So we've come to Witherspoons and we're just gonna have a few drinks. 
Another really cool feature of the Sony ZV-1 is you can record in high refresh rate and slow motion. So what that means is the ZV-1 can actually record up to 960 frames per second, which is 40 times slower than real life. And the shots look like this. We just left the restaurant and we're heading back into the centre of Manchester just to grab a few more things for the holiday. Um, Tyler's got a little bit more packing left to do and then we should be more or less packed after that part. It's starting to properly rain now. Great, cool. One of the blueberry sour and what was the other? Oh, and I'll take a pink lemonade as well. Tyler's now and I've just been going over some of the footage from the ZV-1 that I've been recording today on my laptop. I'm actually really impressed with the quality so far. I think the 4K looks incredible to the point where I think if I was using my Canon M6 Mark II and this, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two cameras. It's a really high quality 4K and the slow motion at 120 FPS also looks really good. That is only at 1080p but still 120 FPS, that's very impressive and the autofocus is so quick on this thing it is ridiculous like if i move in really quickly and move out it matches and it focuses really well another feature of the sony zv1 is something called product showcase let me see if i can turn it on for you i've turned on product showcase now which is a different mode of autofocus essentially with the standard autofocus it will always focus on the face so looking at my face now it will always try and focus on the person in the shot whether that's in the foreground or the background doesn't matter always the face. When you put it into product showcase mode, what it will do is it will actually focus on the closest thing to the lens. So if I was to bring this controller, for instance, it would instantly focus on the controller. And if I take that away, back to me. And controller, me. Really, really quick really snappy and really impressive. It's not something that you would use every single day, but for reviews and people who do a lot of talking to camera, showing things on camera, it's a really handy feature to have. Uh, it saves you having to do the whole holding it in front and doing it, you know, it, it just looks a lot cleaner to hold it in front and instantly I mean, that is so quick. So far, the only sort of gripe that I've got with the ZV-1 would be the stabilization. So currently I have it in standard stabilization, which is the middle mode. We have off, standard and active. Now active is the highest level of stabilization, but it has a crop and that's kind of an issue, um, especially considering that the lens on this is 24 mils as is. When you add the active stabilization, it crops in and turns it into more of a 30 mil lens, um, which when you try and vlog is a bit of an issue. So this currently is the standard stabilization mode and this is the active stabilization. So you can see it's cropped in a little bit on the image. Things are a little bit closer. Now it's not too drastic when I'm sat like this with a uh, distance between the camera and myself, but if I take the camera and hold it out as I usually would, um, this is about arm's length for me and you can see it's really quite tight on my face. At the moment when you sat down and you're not really doing much, that's not too big of an issue, but when you're walking around, it's very easy for the, the camera to bounce up and down and it's really hard to get the framing exactly right. I think in terms of framing and the size of the image, the standard is better, but you do lose some of that stabilization and you'll notice in some of the earlier clips, it has been a little bit jittery. Um, 
so that is definitely a drawback. Another slight issue that I've noticed with the ZV-1 at the moment has to be the battery life. Currently I'm getting around about 30 minutes of record time before a battery dies. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more than that, sometimes it's a little bit less depending on what shooting modes I'm using. Obviously the 4K definitely drains the battery more than say 1080p. Um, but it is something that I am experiencing. What I did do before filming today's video is I ordered some uh, spare batteries online. Uh, I ordered some spare batteries on Amazon and I've got four of these which I have been swapping through the day. Currently I've gone through three batteries so far um, and that's with around about two hours of recording time. Depending on how long you're going to be recording for, how long you have the camera active before hitting record, is going to vastly depend on how much battery life you get on the camera. Yeah, the battery life is not amazing. How's your packing going? Boring. Yeah. Have you got most of it done or? Yeah. That means I need to head back soon. <laughs> Are you alright waiting here a sec if I get the car? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright, I'll see you in a sec. I'm gonna grab everything and take it back to my house so that we're ready for flying tomorrow. While I'm walking down, I just thought I would test out the low light capability of the camera. Um, so it's not completely pitch black, but it definitely is getting a lot darker outside and the street lights have turned on. This camera does have a max ISO of around about 6400, I believe, when recording videos, but I've capped it at 1600, as I feel like after you get past 1600, it seems to get really grainy to the point where it's, it's just annoying to watch. So this is currently at 1600 ISO, and I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, it is pretty dark out now and my face is still very well exposed. The sky in the image right now actually looks brighter than the sky looks in real life. That's predominantly due to the really fast aperture on this camera. When fully zoomed out, the camera can uh, record at f1.8, which is a really, really fast aperture for a camera, especially a camera of this size. Having a fast aperture on the camera is also what produces the bokeh in the background. So the blurry background that you see in shots like this where the background is slightly out of focus, that is due to the f1.8. the car took all of the suitcases inside um, it's pretty late now so I think I'm gonna call it a day and end this video here tomorrow we are going on holiday we actually fly at around about three o'clock in the morning so I need to get this edited as soon as I possibly can so that's what I'm gonna do I know this hasn't been a very in-depth review on the Sony ZV-1 it's just sort of a first impressions um, I thought the best way to demonstrate how good the Sony ZV-1 actually is was to vlog as that's its main purpose so hopefully that came across in this video and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions about the Sony ZV-1 leave them in the comments down below and if you did enjoy this video hit that like button it really does help. If this is the first time that you're seeing my face hit that subscribe button I post videos every single week and I've got a lot of really good videos coming over the next few weeks so you've got that to look forward to and yeah I will see you next week with a new video. For me, it'll be three weeks though. Nice holiday. <laughs> All right, bye. Like I like the blur in the background, it looks quite good. Okay, enough of that. Why? I don't know. Why like, not sexy enough? I didn't say that.